Hi everyone, welcome to Nerex channel. In the previous video, I explained how you can use the Zmodem protocol to transfer file to Nerex terminal. But as you remember, I used the Minicon to transfer file over the serial console. And although it's way more easy to do this way, because we just need to use the Minicon and transfer the file to the terminal, uh, sometimes you don't want or cannot use the serial uh, console to do that because we, we need to interact with the terminal all the time or sometimes the files you want to transfer is so big. Uh, anyway, uh, today I will explain how you can use a separate a second serial port to transfer files. Okay, so let's get started. Open the Linux terminal, enter inside Nerex space, Nerex. This time we will not run, make this clean. Why? Because we want to reuse the same uh, configuration we used in the previous uh, video, in the previous tutorial. So I will keep that and just run make menu config. Uh, for this example, I will use the user 3 on the pins PB10 and PB11. So, if you want to use other serial port, you need to modify it uh, for your setup. app, okay? So, here in system type, move down until uh, STM32 peripheral support. Go to use art tree and select it. Okay. Uh, here we don't need to modify anything. Uh, in file system as well, we don't need to modify. I will just show that tempfs file system is enabled. And now we go to application configuration. And here we go to System library and NSA add-ons and move down to Z mode command. And here in default Z mode and device, we need to use the serial console, uh, the serial port, sorry, that we are uh, planning to use. Because we have only two serial ports enabled, it will create dev. TTY S0 and dev TTY S1. So we we'll use the second serial, the TTY S1. So we we'll write it here. And here in the serial number, we change it from 0 to 1 because we are using TTY S1. And that is it. We don't need to modify anything else. Now we can exit exit again and finally exit and save now we can run make i use dash j to compile faster uh, as you can see uh, they change a little bit the, the setup now it don't show all the files uh, one by one in the line so it's clear now and we can use the Open OCD command to transfer file. Okay. This command. And let's see. Okay, the firmware was flashed correctly. Now we can press Ctrl C. And I will show how you can connect the second serial port on your computer. So after that, we will return and I will show how to run the commands in the, in the Nerex terminal. So guys, here is my serial port connection. I'm using an external uh, USB hub because my computer doesn't have enough USB port. And the first 
USB serial adapter is connected to the first USB serial. You already know that it's connected to PA2 and PA3. It's used as serial console. And the second one, that um, USB serial adapter is connected to the second USB serial port. That port is used to transfer file in this example. So, as you can see, I connect it to PB10, to pins PB10 and PB11. So, it's connected this way. And so, after that, we can follow with the minicon commands. All right, now we have the second serial port connected to the computer, so we can run minicon, reset the board, let's see if the TTY S1 was created, okay, it was created, now we can open a new Linux terminal, and we need to configure this second serial port to use the right baud rate and don't use uh, hardware flow control and so on. So I have already the command here, the command here, uh, the STTY, this command, I will put it in the video description. So we just need to run it. Now I will move it to the side and keep it on top and I will run the RZ command to receive to receive data in the terminal to receive the files in the terminal okay now we will use the SZ command this command here so it basically will transfer the Nerex logo file using the TTY USB 0 the second serial port that was connected to my computer. So, after run it, it transferred very fast and the RZ command dropped to the second line the, or the RZ command finished. And once again, let's see what is inside the last temp. Okay, the file is there and you can catch nerexlogo.txt okay that's it so today we transfer file using a second serial port and i hope you had enjoyed this video if you have some question or some suggestion please put in the video description or sorry put in the comments in the video after the video description and if you're not subscribed to nerex channel yet please subscribe and click in the bell icon to receive notifications when I post a new video. Okay, see you in the next video. Bye bye.